Hello, and welcome to Horror Vacui, a indie horror game made by Christopher Frey. Similar to Exposure and Letter to a Friend, I'm getting right into this. One of the newer games he made, apparently in 2012. But uh, it was uploaded six days ago. I'm going to give this a try, and I hope the recording is actually going. Let's see. Again, it's a game that's based really well on environment. I think Horror Vecui is supposed to be a, the scariness of empty space or something along those lines. A laundry machine. Alright, well, we're just going to move ahead, I guess. So we're in a laundry room, or a laundry room, supposedly. We move very slowly. Doorway! What's in here? Very slow mo. It really makes me think. It's like a sort of a dream aesthetic. Where things are sluggish, slow, like you're walking in a swamp. Usually the way I describe some of my dreams, if I have anything nightmare related, it's always me moving slowly, and it's frustrating. Interesting. Well, we're going down this hallway and hoping we find out what is going on or why we are here. <sighs> I'm not sure what to expect in this one. Well, it's a long hallway, that's for sure. I've been walking down this hallway for a long time and there's like nothing happening. Is, is this like the point of it? Are the hallways getting smaller? Or... Hmm. I'm not sure, I just went through another doorway. Hmm. Is this where I'm meant to go? Alright, third doorway, we act... What was this? Spike... Spike... Spiky bush? Just look at my vision. Um... Touch? Ah, I can hear nature from it. It's very pleasant. I have to stare at it for nature. Just take over! Where are your headsets, people, and listen to nature? Breathe in! That smell! Smell nature. Fresh air. Outside of the basement. Outside of your computer room. And enjoy the nature. Nature? Where are you, nature? Seems nature's not happening anymore. Uh... What else can we do here? Did I walk here just to enjoy a bush? That, like, gives me some nature sound effects. Hopefully I don't have to walk down that hallway all over again. That was like a, a three minute slow walk. It was really boring. Like all that for, for a plant. Well, if that's true, I'm gonna have to walk down this hallway all the way to the end again. I'm uh, gonna skip forward and eat some pistachios if you don't mind because they're, they're delicious. All right, I went down one single hallway and it seems we entered somewhere else. So, thankfully, it's not going to be as boring. Because that was, a, honestly, a long walk. I had to skip through it all. I mean, like, skip via video editing, not, not, you know, wheelchair. If I stare at this, will another memory happen? Like, audio memory. Subtle noises. Nothing too extravagant. Because the usual noise is the, uh, you know, this noise. Mm. I don't hear anything out of the bed. No idea. Well, here's another doorway. Well, let's see if this is where we came from or not. Possibly so. Oh. Finally! Signs of a story! Hello? I don't think the phone can do both those at the same time. 
Okay. Some kind of, uh... Suggestively evil tone here. Went from... Waking up... Going down a long hallway to find nature, noise, bird noises... Uh... Hospital equipment and a bed. I'm not sure what the this mess is supposed to be around here. Um, like just hospital stuff. Hospital bed, um, a wheelchair. I'm supposed to signal maybe something happening to the main character that made it so from going outside we were transported to a hospital and something happened. We're no longer in an area that has a, a laundry room or a laundry machine. I think the room that had the phone in it has changed, it's now something else. The room seemed to change of their own... It's hard to describe, really. Oh, hello. Just turn around this fucking... Uh, hopefully you're a statue. Okay, it's a statue, it has, it has a base to it. Hello. I don't really hear anything coming from it. It's just a statue. Nothing inherently evil about it, just... something to do with this character's memory? Not sure. We're going this way, I think. There's a door? Yep. Alright, let's find out what's next. I'm not sure what's going on or how to explain this. It is just a... an experience. A long hallway, too. Great. I'd have to go back to wandering a hallway needing pistachios. Huh? A hallway that extends to another hallway. It's going to be one of those hallways. Hopefully it just doesn't lead back to the plant. While I'm wandering down these hallways, though, I am playing... Like, while I'm wandering and holding the W key, I'm wandering... ...and uh, playing Final Fantasy... ...Exvius, I think it's called? What is it called? Final Fantasy... Hmm, what, 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 what is it called? Exvius? Bravius? Bravius Maximus? Bra Brave Exvius! I'm playing that. I will have my code on the screen. If any of you play Brave Exvius on mobile, uh, hey, you can hook me up. I can uh, help you out if you're uh, weak or if you want to try it out. I like Final Fantasy games. I am can't wait for Final Fantasy 15 to actually get shipped to my fucking house. Apartment, rather. Oh, hey, great! Cask. Coffin. Great. But yeah, I play Final Fantasy XVS in my spare time. It's kind of fun. It's got Facebook styled uh, energy where, like, where like you only have limited moves per day until it recharges, sort of thing. But it's fun that you get to play and recruit uh, Final Fantasy heroes from like Final Fantasy one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine, and some from ten. From Actually, not 10. 11 for sure. 13 and 14, yes. But no Final Fantasy 7 yet. Like, you can, uh... You can have... You can hire heroes for your party in Final Fantasy XPS. Uh, from previous Final Fantasies to make your group six-man squad. And you can have Kefka on your fucking team. Fucking Kefka, the insane clown, on your team. You can have X-Death, you can have Cloud of Darkness, all these antagonists and protagonists of the Final Fantasy series. And uh, even Lightning's in it. I, mean, I don't know if people really care about that, but you know what I mean. Is uh, There's a lot of Final Fantasy heroes, antagonists, protagonists, and characters, and you can have them in your party. And uh, it's fun. I have fun with it. Interesting. It's sort of a bad situation, a chair leaning up against the handle. But yeah, so yeah, Exvius, great. I'll add my number, I took some screenshots on my phone, I can add it to the screen. I'll probably make a separate video uh, asking people to add me if they play it on a video, but I'm just adding it as saying here. In this video, randomly, to make conversation, that I have, I play it, and uh, if you need a hero, I'm like rank 19 right now. I use a five-star hero named Cecil, who's a tank paladin knight side of guy. If you play it, then my Tank Paladin Duke can help you out if you're just beginning. Or if you're high up there, hey, help me out! Maybe you can help me out instead. A bathtub? 
I'm sort of confused with this experience. It's just like memories of what me dying and this is like life flashing before my eyes. The noise is getting louder though and I don't trust it. Hopefully it's not something chasing me. I'm not sure if talking about Final Fantasy XPS is also appropriate in this kind of strange, weird game. But I'm talking about it anyways. Hmm, the clock? The noise is getting louder, I don't trust it. I hope it's not an enemy or a ghost or a creepy thing. Maybe it's death and he's coming for me. I don't like it though. It's not a it's not a pleasant noise, basically. Each room I go into, there's a new memory, a new object to stare at. A blow dryer. Great memory. I prefer the nature. Anything else in this big ass room? Other than loud ambience that's sort of getting louder. It's not really pleasant. Alright, next room. I'll try to skip and clip this video appropriately to make it not so long with me rambling, but uh, what's this? Scribbly drawing. And then the ambience gets louder when I stare at it. Looks like two people and their faces are scratched out. Uh oh. Guy me. I don't like the fact this is a dead end. I really don't. Why do I get a bad feeling about this room? Why does it look foggy or is it just me? The fuck is with. I, I swear it used to be just pure black. Why is it. Why does it look like that now? Oh! I'm waking up! That's. I'm in a bed! Let's make- let's keep moving! I, I get this, it's this fucking ceiling, it's a ceiling limb. Keep moving, man, you're waking up, opening your eyes. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I saw that is a ceiling lamp. Come on. Wake up, go this way. Go to the light! I was like, what the fuck is this vision? It's blurry and weird, but I can make it out. It's like a- Like, the bed railing is right there on my right. And a ceiling light that's, like, if I open my eyes, it'd be kind of blinding, but yeah. Come on, you just gotta wake up. Come on. It's good the guy's out waking up. It's good that you're not dying. Come on. Open the eyes. Get out of your coma. Where am I even going? There's a door over here. Let's go this way and hope this is right. Is it right? I need more memories. Because I can barely fucking see. Like, seriously, it's really fucking hard to see. Like, I could be walking into a wall and I'd have no idea. How am I supposed <laughs> to see? Oh, shit, it's, it's so hard to fucking... To tell if I'm going backwards or if I'm doing this right or not. It's really hard to sort of focus on the the game and look for a door at the same time of uh, not being not the eyes focusing too much on the image of the lamp and it's getting harder to see the game. So I think we're finally just waking up. Yes, there we go. Awesome. I'm taking this as good news that the char this character is waking up. Come on. Waking up in the hospital out of the coma. This is it. Yes! Yes! Heart rate's good. Finally. I see this good news and I'm happy for it. Oh, close your eyes. No, don't close your eyes. It doesn't sound good at all. Well, I'm awake. Am I just going to go back to sleep again? I don't want to go back to sleep. That's fine, but that's how to stop the game. Close your eyes. As long as it doesn't mean death. Again? What? No! 
Oh god, this- okay, I guess that's maybe the end of it, it's just... It's memories and then waking up, hopefully it just doesn't include death or anything. But I think that's basically it. I closed my eyes and went back to sleep. I'm not sure if this is going to be like a situation of what, uh, how blind people see or perceive the world or someone who lost their vision, perhaps. And this is what they see in their dreams rather than color. I heard blind people dream and it's more, I can't remember what it was, like that blind people see shapes, not colors, but just shapes, blocks. I'm not sure, I'd have to re-look at that kind of research, but I presume maybe this is sort of a... I don't know, it reminds me of how vision is for a person that has like cybernetic implants, that they can see again, and this is what it sort of looks like a bit. Um, outside of that, but interesting game, it's you're in a hospital, maybe coma, and this is your dreams before waking up, it's very uh, obscure, very lacking of any information. No horror whatsoever, so I won't put it in any horror um, categories. But either way, it was an interesting game. Hopefully you enjoyed the experience and the exploration as I did trying to discover what the fuck was going on. If you did, well, anyways, I thank you for watching. And if you did enjoy, like, hey, give the uh, developer some credit. He, uh, it makes a very interesting ambience, very interesting atmosphere. It always leaves you open to wondering and trying to wonder what's going on, what's the story, and who you're playing. So, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber. And until the next time, Brum. You're running away, aren't you? No, I'm walking forward. Which sounds a lot more confident, doesn't it? You could say I'm running away, but I'm going upstairs. And I'm walking forward, not backwards. Scared you're going to do something stupid? No, I'm on webcam, talking to people, and uploading videos on YouTube. Clearly, I'm not afraid of doing something stupid. I advertise stupid.